Okay, we are ready to begin animating bones. So as I mentioned, we won't be animating the bones for the kid. We will actually be giving bones to the cape. So this kid, this kid hero, will have like this cape that is fluttering in the wind. So to begin, we actually don't need, need the kid. We will just begin by animating this rectangle that flaps in the wind or the simulated wind that we have. So to begin, go to the tools, select bone, and then make a root bone, and then continuously add joints that are a little bit closer to each other. Each consecutive one is a little bit closer than the previous one. And let's try again. Okay, that's good. And then T for translate, and then click out of it. Hit B again because we want a new root bone. And then click the root bone, and then continue to add joints. These joints should be at the same location. I don't want them to be exactly the same. I want there to be a little bit of a variation um, to have a more natural appearance in the final animation. Um, okay, and then we are gonna go to animate. So to begin, we will select the bottom row of bones and hit X for the IK pose tool and then click and then just drag that there was a little bit of a bug there just drag this down I'm not sure what this I think saving is taking a bit long I think my internet is slow okay, but either way click this down there we go uh, I think that's a good starting position and then we're going to move this up by 30 frames and then hit X and then go up this time and then select these again, hit X, and then not exactly. So that's the thing with that, the Ikai pose. So for example, if I'm in this motion, it's gonna be hard to get back to what I exactly want. So it's important to kind of get, get it the first try. That seems good. Okay, and then what I want to do is I want to select all of this, Control C, go to the one second mark, hit Control V, and this is at the 30, 30 frames. Okay, and we're gonna say this is wind. And then let's hit play. Okay, and there we have an animation. As you can see, it's very, very linear. It's very uh, precise in its motion. It does not look natural at all. So what we actually want to do is we want to select all of these and give it a cubic interpolation. So this will start off slow, go to the top, end slow, and then it will start slow again, and then go, speed up and then slow again, and then um, it will essentially lose momentum when it reaches the bottom and lose momentum as it reaches the top. So let's see how that looks. Okay, much better. I am actually kind of happy with that. One thing that I do want to do, I actually think it would be better to get these down a little bit more. So I'm going to hit X and just push them down a little bit. X again. There we go. And select. And then go to the end. Control V. Okay, perfect. If it does look jaggedy, I think my computer is getting a bit slow. I think I've been pushing it too much. Um, and doing all of these things today. Okay, but let's continue regardless. And now what I want to show you is something very unique, okay? Well, I guess it's not unique, it's not groundbreaking, but this is what will give this bones even more natural appearance of motion because um, motion follows motion. So for example, if your arm moves, your other, like the end of your arm might move a little bit um, later. So let's say, imagine you're swinging your arms around it won't be rickety and stiff. Currently, these are moving at the exact same time. There is a little bit of motion owing to the fact that we use the IK pose tool, but what I actually want is I want these motions to lead each other. I actually want this motion to lead this motion to lead this motion. So I want at least not motion, I want this bone to lead the other bone. So to begin, it is a very good idea to actually rename these bones. So we're gonna go root bone, root bone top and 
then I'm just going to continue to name these actual proper names. So give me two seconds. I'll come back to you once I'm done. Okay, I am done. Very creative names, just one, two, three. But that will be easier to actually visualize what's going on. So we're gonna go with um, root bone one and the top and the bottom. These are gonna remain as they are. Then we're gonna select root bone two and root bottom two. And then while holding alt to move the keyframes, I'm going to move them on by five frames. And then for bottom three, or top three and bottom three, I'm going to move them on by 10 frames. Okay, I just want to double check that's 10. Okay, and then we want to move this blade along with the work area. And now you can see that we have this motion where it seems like the top one is leading the other one. We can actually exaggerate that a bit more probably. And it will, you can especially see it in the middle bone. As you can see, it looks like the that last bit is just a fling. It's kind of what you would expect from a cloth. Um, imagine this was cloth. That would happen. If it, as it reaches the end, it just flicks out. So we might change this a bit. We will modify this if needed once we actually start adding the cloth. But for now, this is perfect. And I do hope you enjoyed this and I, you see the power of bones and how it can easily help us do cool animations.